Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, before we get started with the video, I wanted to apologize for not releasing a video on Wednesday. Uh, it's been really hectic at work for me, so I do apologize. I haven't had time to record. So uh, that being said, let's get into today's video. Uh, today we're going to be knocking out the body and the sword for Belcor. So first we're going to start with doing a heavy dry brush of Corvus Black all over his body. Because what, what I'm going for with Bellacore is I want to have a bluish skin tone just to help. I don't really like him being gray. He's, you know, he's the, the Lord of Shadows, the Master of Shadows. He shouldn't be gray. He should be dark versions of more vibrant colors. So like purples, blues, uh, if you want to go crazy, greens, that sort of thing. That's why we did the purple wing membranes. So now we're just going in, we're going to do Corvus Black all over the skin, uh, the scales, uh, not the bone gross coming out of his armor, we're going to ignore those for now, we're going to do those in a separate video. So we're just going around, we're even doing like the, the tail, the face, I'm not necessarily doing the horns on the head. I'm really just trying to focus on the face and maybe the lower horns on his around his chin area. And don't forget to get those little recesses around where his horn and sh in between his horn and his shoulder. Uh, because this isn't the highlight area, so this, there should still be some color in there. We won't necessarily focus on getting the highlight color in there, but we should get our shadow or our, our base color in there. All right, now we're coming in. This is Night Lord's Blue. And we're just going to do a light dry brush all over his body. Uh, pretty much the same areas we just did. Uh, maybe avoid, if it's up to you, uh, avoid the areas around the neck that are kind of hidden by the chin or underneath the horn and his left arm. But uh, definitely hit those scales and the tail, everything like that. Uh, this is what will really, it'll help really pop. It'll look really nice, or it should at least. This is a more of an experimentation than anything. And now, of what I'm actually doing is I'm coming in with Eshin Gray on his horns, because I don't want his horns to just be blue. I want them to be a little bit more color. Uh, Eshin Gray does have a bit of blue pigment in there, so it'll help fit. It'll fit with the rest of the paint scheme. But it's just a little bit of a difference. And now we're coming in with just a little bit of Dawnstone to highlight uh, the tips of the horns and the raised edges. And I ended up, uh, you'll see in the next uh, segment, I ended up coming in with Dawnstone on the skin as well. I was going to just leave it with the Nightmare's Blue, but I felt like I needed another color just to in some of the raised areas so this is this is more of a selective highlight you don't have to get everywhere with this but I like to get all the raised edges that are front facing or just anything that really stands out I want to hit with the uh, with the Dawnstone however I did not go over his tail or the scales on his leg or on his right forearm I did not, I left those with just the Night Lord's Blue. So now here we're just going to do a nice little look around. See what we got so far for the model. And kind of see the, uh, the blue accents on the scales for the tail. I really like it. It looks really nice in my opinion. And uh, in the next segment we're going to move on to his sword. 
Now, unfortunately, uh, the, I looked through the footage for the sword and uh, the edge highlighting and the painting, the white, sort of the smoke on the sword did not come out very well. It wasn't on camera. Uh, but basically, I, I, I uh, just edge highlighted the sword with Gauss Blast, or uh, with, excuse me, with Blue Horror, and then I based the smoke with Corax White. And now we're just going to go ahead. This is Aethermatic Blue, uh, the contrast paint from Citadel. But it's thinned down 50-50 with airbrush thinner. Uh, water would work as well. And this will basically turn into a wash consistency. And we're just going to layer that all over the sword. It'll get that nice ethereal blue smoky effect. Here's the sword and body finished. Thank you all for watching. Uh, on Monday we will tackle his base.